The next rehearsal for the Men of Valor Choir will be held Monday, May 6th from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the Multipurpose Room. For additional information, please see Elder Anthony Robinson. Join us for Tuesday night service to be held May 7th at 7.30 p.m. in the Multipurpose Room. The speakers will be Minister Josiah Evans and Evangelist Diane Taylor. Get on the bus and travel to Baltimore, Maryland for the Church of God in Christ 69th Women's International Convention to be held May 29th through June 1st. For additional details, send an email to Evangelist Marilyn Wagner at Marilyn underscore 518 at yahoo.com. The deadline to sign up is Sunday, May 12th. All ladies should plan to join First Lady Pamela Wooden and the Upper Room Women's Ministry on Tuesday, May 14th for the second Tuesday Night Sisters One Hour Bible Study and Fellowship to be held at 7 p.m. Come out and learn to maintain a healthy mind through God's Word. Refreshments will be served at 6.30 p.m. The next baptism is scheduled for Tuesday, May 14th at 7 p.m. All candidates should arrive at the church by 6.30 p.m. Interested candidates should call the church at 919-829-6160 to submit your name and receive further details. We encourage everyone to travel with Bishop Wooden as he preaches in the month of May. Tonight at 6 p.m., he will preach for Pastor James D. Parker at Pillar and Ground of Truth, Church of God in Christ. The church is located at 950 Mac Todd Road in Zebulon. On Wednesday, May 15th at 7.30 p.m., he will be the evening speaker for the Greater North Carolina Jurisdiction Mission to Men Conference to be held at Victorious Praise Fellowship Church of God in Christ. The church is located at 2116 Page Road in Durham. Finally, he will be the guest speaker for Pastor Michael White's 8th Pastoral Anniversary to be held Sunday, May 19th at 6 p.m. at New Beginnings Christian Fellowship Church of God in Christ. The church is located at 1759 Fairway Road in Ashboro, and bus transportation is available. To secure your seat, email Evangelist Marilyn Wagner at Marilyn underscore 518 at yahoo.com by Thursday, May 16th. The Upper Room Church of God in Christ will host a shut-in from Friday, May 24th at 7 p.m. through Saturday, May 25th at 7 a.m. Please make plans and preparations to participate. To all members of North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, the Jurisdictional Sexual Harassment and Misconduct Policy is now available. Please visit ncthird.org to download and read. Downloading the document will confirm your receipt of this policy. Oh, I'm reminded when they used to have big meetings. Come on and meet me at the revival. Are you ready for a revival? Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. with Elder Anthony M. Wilson and the Upper Room Men's Department proudly present Men's Revival Weekend, June 6th through the 9th at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. The celebration will commence Thursday, June 6th at 7.30 p.m. for Thursday night teaching as we honor our leader, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. Friday, June 7th at 7 p.m. It's a celebration for everyone. Get ready for family night. Featuring the men's praise team, the men of Valor Choir, a special testimony from our own, Lieutenant Chris Ferguson of the United States Navy, and a daddy-daughter combination of preaching. Featuring Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. and Evangelist Crystal Amanchukwu. Saturday, June 8th, get ready for the Man Up Sessions with topics ranging from prostate awareness to dressing for success, healthy eating, plus an all-important protect and serve awareness with local law enforcement and more. The weekend concludes with the Lord's Day service. Sunday, June 9th at 11 a.m., Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will deliver a powerful message guaranteed to accentuate the entire event. You want to be at the Men's Revival Weekend. Seek the Lord. Men ignited by the vision. June 6th through the 9th at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, 3300 Idlewood Village Drive in Raleigh. Upper Room, we are pleased to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments and future plans of our graduating high school seniors. Please hold your applause until all names have been read. Isaiah Nwasi is graduating from Garner Magnet High School. His post high school plans include attending Wake Technical College, and enlisting in the United States Army Reserve. Sienna Falk is graduating from Friendship Christian School. After graduation, she will attend the University of North Carolina at Charlotte and major in nursing.
Kenya Lester is graduating from North Raleigh Christian Academy. She has received the Merit Scholarship and will attend North Carolina A&T State University to study nursing in the Honors Program, which requires a 3.75 GPA and a minimum 1230 SAT score. Chinese D. McCoy is graduating from Heritage High School. Upon graduation, she will attend college and major in business administration. Emerald McNeil will graduate from Leesville Road High School. She has received the Presidential Scholarship and has also been accepted at Campbell University and Wingate University. She will major in pharmacy with plans to earn a Doctor of Pharmacy degree. Leslie Nail is graduating from the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics. She has been accepted at the University of Southern California, North Carolina State University, Virginia Tech, and Clemson. She plans to major in architecture. Caleb Owens is graduating from Clayton High School. Upon graduation, he will attend Army Office Candidate School, along with Flight School, pursuing a dual career in engineering and becoming a pilot. Jalen Payne is graduating from Athens Drive High School. Upon graduation, he will pursue studies in forensic and animal science at Wake Technical College. Kendra Randall is graduating from Wakefield High School. She has been accepted at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, High Point University, and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. She plans to major in neuroscience. Maya Seymour is graduating from Southeast Raleigh Magnet High School. Upon graduation, she will attend Winston-Salem State University to pursue a degree in nursing. Kiera Thaxton is graduating from Middle Creek High School. Upon graduation, she will attend Wake Technical College to pursue a degree in advertising and graphic design and business management. Karis Williams is graduating from North Raleigh Christian Academy. She will be attending Campbell University on a partial scholarship. Upper Room, please stand to your feet and give our graduating high school seniors a round of applause for their accomplishments. Thank you.